myself occasionally. Run along now. As the donors of the museum, I gotta give Spidey some serious cred. Whatever the good Dr. Faustus was up to, spells bad news for us. I need to get something off my chest. Go for it. I can't stand vampire movies. Why not? Why do you think? They take vicious killers and present them as tragic and misunderstood. I know someone like that. Who? I would say look in a mirror, but I do not know what you would see. Oh no, only one way I'd be a movie vampire. Oh? If I was there to kill all the other vampires, I would watch that. They could call it Stakeout. Why not just Blade? Yeah, I could take it or leave it. That was okay. What you doing, Charlie? What is this? Passa, Hunter. Great work, Hunter. I bet Lilith was hoping you sit this one out. Sucks for her. Those chains of yours are incredible. That means a lot coming from you.
You've been doing well out there, kiddo. And you're making an impression on your teammates. Make sure you let them know how you feel about their efforts, too. They'll appreciate a kind word from the legendary hunter. Spider-Man would probably appreciate it if you looked in on him. I think he's quite impressed by you. What? You want to know who am I? Who am I? Spider-Man. 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 Spider-Man? Oh, hey, Hunter. Didn't see you there. Everything's fine. This is completely normal. All the top heroes do it, I'm sure. Do what? Practice their hero voice. In my case, my spider voice. I figured if I was going to be teaming up with this group, I ought to up my game. Sound more, I don't know, scary, I guess. Well, your spider voice is very... noticeable. Really? Did it give you pause? Strike fear in your heart as you approached the spider's lair? It struck something. Yes! That means a lot to me, coming from you. I don't know too many demon hunters. It's nice to get an expert opinion every now and then. And if I might add an opinion of my own, you are much nicer than Craven. I actually came here to thank you. Thank me? For what? And by the way, does this thanks also involve pizza? I have to say battling Eddie always works up the appetite. If I were to acquire this pizza, who would I give it to? Your identity remains a mystery to us all. Oh, you want to meet the spider man beneath the mask. Sorry, that's a no-go. My true identity is a closely guarded secret. Not even MJ or Aunt May know for... Wait... I see what you're doing there. Sorry, Hunter, the mask's gotta stay on. I hope that's not gonna make things weird between us. The Abbey is a place of many secrets. Your identity is safe within these walls. It's not the walls here I'm worried about. It's out there in the real world where the people I love are. No mask can hide you or them from Lilith. Her gaze can pierce your very soul. Sheesh. 
Reminds me of my best friend's dad. And that was before he became a flying goblin. I know this is not easy for you, Spider-Man. The people here are very different from one another. They do not always see eye to eye. But one thing I can say in truth is that I trust them with my very life. Lives. Wait, did you just say lives as in plural? Yes. I am really gonna enjoy getting to know you, Hunter. And we would enjoy getting to know you. The real you. Listen, let me think it over, all right? It's a big decision. Gotta meditate on it. Check my horoscope. Roll it around in my head, and maybe we'll talk soon. Cool? Cool. I really need to think this over. Now this place feels like a superhero lair. Damn, I wish we had something like this in New York. My lucky day, huh? Time to take it to the next level. I think we've got something for everyone. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? No problem. How does this look? Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient tech. What can we work on for you, Hunter? If you find more coil, send it my way. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. There's more to this workspace than meets the eye, Hunter. These flames unformed of any fire. Intriguing. Fascinating.
That is something. Ah, I see. Build, plan, invent, create. Take your pick. Good day, Hunter. Hey, can I ask a favor? Ah, oh, thanks, Hunter. So Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Better than nothing. Let's do this. Run? Bruce, you told me you were on it for days. I meant process my findings. Something amiss, Captain? Nope, nothing. Just Bruce being Bruce. More importantly... Really glad we got Spider-Man back, Hunter. Not sure if you've noticed it, but these end-of-day scenarios really tend to put a damper on morale. It's nice to get a solid win, you know? Every victory we have inches us closer to stopping Lilith, and every life we save is another ally against her. In this case, a wisecracking radioactive Spider-Man ally. Which is a good thing, now that we know Hydra has been augmenting their soldiers with this radioactive green gamma shampoo. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Speaking of helping, should probably get back to it. There's a certain special Hydra mad scientist out there whose face is just begging for a smacking. And these gamma signatures of his don't seem to want to analyze themselves. Talk to you later. I get it. Just get back to me as soon as you can. Caretaker, time's wasting, Hunter.
Hunter, it's always good to see you. You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are, one of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here? No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much. But I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. What do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves. I like to think of a Moon Seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person? Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the Old Gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And Caretaker used the words as well? Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Feeling well today, dear? This is a little... cryptic. It's a clue. Don't worry if you can't solve her riddles all at once. I'll translate new clues every night. But the Abbey grounds are huge. How will I know where to look? You used to love running around these grounds as a child. 
If you need a refresher, study your map. Hunter? First we crawl, then we stumble. They turned me down last time I asked for a tour of Norad, but I get. Regardless of what Mr. Stark thinks, the mirror table was guiding our hand reliably for centuries before the advent of computers. With all of the artifacts and equipment Hydra has been absconding with, it was inevitable we'd catch them unloading equipment somewhere. You'll have to move quickly if we're going to recover any of their equipment. Got it! Impressive. Another round of warm bodies coming in. It's almost going too well. They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key.
think it's up to me? Nice! Let's do this! Try this on for size! That armor must be stronger than it looks. Otherwise, you're in trouble. Interesting tactic. They've destroyed one of the crates. Focus on getting the other keys. You've made a grave mistake. his arm to detonate. Get to that key card. Here we go! That was really something. Mutation isn't enough to scare off these so-called children of Lilith. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. I should talk to your union rep. I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level yet. This one's for you! This should help! Watch closely. arm to blow. You don't have much time. That was the last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces, and let's get you home. A moment. It's in your best interest to quit now. proper concussion protocols. Let's try The light shines on the most dutiful. I'm seeing double here. It will take more than that, I'm afraid. This should be good. That will be our focus, then. Great, but not great. A gift. 
from the ancient traditions. Love the effort. That's one shipment Hydra won't be receiving. Hunter, I need your help. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. What do you need me to do? If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see. That you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. All right, let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? It'll be fun! All your friends showing up at once to wish you the best. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun to you? To have friends do that for me? It is a wonderful thought. Truly, having friends at all is a welcome change from my youth. Yeah, no kidding. It's hard to make friends when you're on the run. Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? I already told you, surprise parties are a lot of fun. What more do you need than that on your birthday? Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the Abbey. We'll make it work. That is all I had. I am good for now. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. And so you actually slept in that thing. That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in L.A. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. 
Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and pizza? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. Wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditched the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that buildup, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, oh, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, are you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah, I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field-trip-gone-wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. So, how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? My mother is the harbinger of a dark god. A normal life was never in the cards for me. Yeesh. I thought high school was hard to deal with. That's gotta be a heavy load to carry. It is not always easy. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them. Um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Perhaps according to a prophecy, but in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cathan. Ego is simply the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with smapped in Hermerica. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean, how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. Might still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. It makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been hunting? I learned to stop counting the years long ago. 
I much prefer to count the number of Lilin fallen by my hand. Yeesh. You must have some interesting birthday parties. This venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well... I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. Must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? Lilith made her choice long ago. Though it pains me to say this, she is no longer my mother, but another monster to slay. That's a hard way to look at it. When I see Venom, all I can see is Eddie. And the symbiote that saved my life on a few occasions. Perhaps that is what Lilith is counting on. Look, I get it. The monster that looks like your friend is still a monster. I watch plenty of zombie movies, okay? Still doesn't mean you have to become that which you were hunting, if you ask me. I knew that philosophy minor was going to pay off. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. Tony, why do you name everything after yourself? Well, you seem like a bright person. Why don't you tell me? Because you love seeing your name, and love everyone else seeing your name. Ouch, that hurts, boss. Do you really think that little of me? I explained the naming thing in one of my Tony talks. Is it a bit windy? Because... Hey! I had some questions about the party. Sure, what's up? That is all I had. I am good for now. See ya!
Calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. Uh, and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider in a year or two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Hunter, got a question for you. For a recently animated... Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest. I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying. But not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? When facing a demon, aim for the heart. Always do. Then why are you talking to me when you should really be talking to them? Or at least, her. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? Face the truth as bravely as you would your enemy, Blade. Your admiration for her reaches far beyond the battlefield. You're delusional, Hunter. And for the first time since we have met, I believe you are actually afraid, Blade. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. Well, the Abbey's still way too haunted for my life. You know, the Avengers might do things a little different. In limbo. Sometimes I think the Avengers look at us and see the enemy. <laughs> I don't mind the new roommates. Nice to meet some cool new peeps. Like Peter here. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. Ugh, the gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. <laughs> Was ours. Until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. The Avengers are powerful allies. Yeah, so I keep hearing. I did not finish, as are you and the others. There is a reason Caretaker chose you for the Midnight Suns. You will have many chances to prove yourself before this war is ended. Thanks, I think. N not gonna be lining up to assemble anytime soon, but I get it. 
You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because Newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun Cone of Silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. That is... something. Got more coil for me? Just, uh, getting it. How does this look? Big Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. can we work on for you, Hunter? Please tell me it's not another amulet. Fascinating. This artifact is mundane. started right away. I'm here if you need me. This should be useful. First we crawl, then we stumble. Even a sorcerer supreme can... Kurt, back again. to see how this goes. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Hunter, buddy, talk to me. Keep knocking him dead, Chief. Lilith won't know what hit him. I'm tracking a new threat. What's ugly, hungry, and dead all over? Vampires. Yes, but an entirely new breed. Nothing I've seen before. 
Is it the kind that fused together, forming a grotesque, bloodthirsty abomination with arm-length fangs and scales from multiple heads to toe? Like a blood-sucking kaiju? That's a thing? It is a thing. Creepy. But this new breed is terrifying in a way that isn't so... amalgamated. The new breed I'm tracking are... uh... they're vampires. I see. No, I do not. You already said they were vampires. Vampires with a Y? Pronounced exactly the same as vampires. I suppose that was wildly creative for the 16th century monks who first cataloged them. No, it is just confusing. That's why I'm calling them new breed vampires to set them apart. I'll flag anything related to these latest bloodsuckers and send it directly to the mirror table. Carol, you are... The best? Yeah, I know. Hunter! Just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> Is this what Steven goes through? I sometimes catch glimpses, too. The past, the future, sometimes a different present. Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. <laughs> Forgot I was talking to the Chosen One there for a second. Still, I actually find that somehow comforting. Maybe we can start a tortured vision book club or something. I am always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best, and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. I'm here if you need me. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? You might want to talk to Nico directly. Why? Is she upset? I do not want to speak for her, but she seemed angry about Wanda. I want to grieve too, but none of us have that luxury right now, or else we'll be grieving the whole world. Thank you for your honesty. I will have to think about how to handle this with Nico. We'll speak later.
New York. Is there a problem? Another one? Central's picking up some unusual activity at the New York Museum of Art. Looks like a break-in. It's all stolen artwork, recently recovered from the personal collection of... Deadpool? That Harlequin is an art thief? Uh, no. Red Skull is the art thief. Deadpool is more of a... kind of like... You really need to see for yourself. You're going to need it. Caretaker? Are you sitting in with Carol? Oh, no. Not if Deadpool's involved. He cannot be that bad. Mystic in the warehouse. No candles. Whatever Hydra is looking for, it seems they have yet to find it. Just don't let them find you. You the new guy? Huh? Sorry. The new, fully customizable, heroically upgradable monster masher? Wisecracking anti-hero. Merc. Very occasional hero. Whatever. I'm adaptable. Spin me off. It's a big franchise. Stop talking. Are you here for the statue, too? What statue? The one my very mysterious and very scary client from somewhere in very Eastern Europe wants me to steal back from the guy who stole it from him? It's the circle of crime. That one? Well, Jimmy, my frickin' chagas. Yeah. That one. Hands up, hands down, ladies and gents. This is a robbery. I'm sorry. Have we met? Aren't you... Sloth? No, no. Sylvia. Cindy? Please kill him. Sin! That's it. Of course, Sin! Granddaughter of Redhead. I mean Skull. I mean Skull. Whatever. No! We never seem to have much luck with these stealth approaches. I have yet to participate in one that was actually quiet. Quiet is boring. I mean, quiet. And things go not terrible for me sometimes. Try not to get wiped out by Hydra flunkies while you're mouthing off. Not dying is actually a key part of my strategy.
Reinforcements. Mother, protect us. I'd love to hear who hired you to steal that artifact if you're feeling chatty, and I know you are. Wait, you aren't the usual lady in my ear. Who is this? Uh, Carol Danvers? Why is that name so familiar? I'm Captain Marvel. Oh, it's finally happening! Always happy to meet my fans. Like they have help. Sheer numbers won't save you now. I feel more like myself every day. servants of Lila. Now I teach them to fear me. Behold the light's gift. Welcome assistance. How'd you even manage to find this place? Been tracking Hydra long? You're really pumping me for information here. I'm slightly aroused. One time we sit in for caretaker, this is what I get. A lunatic pervert mercenary. Lunatic pervert mercenary? That's my favorite anime! Break my resolve. Round and round he goes. Where he stops, nobody knows. We are doing well so far. I can do. Careful, I'm allergic to latex.
rest of us. Pretty mad, so I guess we're doing okay. Stacking them deep today. Back into the fray. Over the years, Lilith's disciples have come in many forms. Blade told me to mention your mother. Apparently she is promiscuous. Light will carry you onward. The power of the light. Nothing we can handle so far. Was that really your best? annoying as expected but at least he can fight step away from the artifact click did you just say click yes i did for emphasis now hand over the statue Ooh, do you know what ah, ah, monologue free zone here it's in my contract sorry now respect the click and hand over the Whoa, big click energy. I like it. Want to help me kill some Nazis? Hydra aren't Nazis. Ah, potato frittata. But they have outlived their usefulness to me. your back right where is sin and the statue oh. hmm the level designer says she went that way why betray her own people maybe she appreciates a plot twist <laughs> you first
you know I'm the biggest mole man fan. Uh oh. Hydra and their mistress have escaped with the artifact. Is this like I say, Mole Man and the universe <laughs> are off brand vampires? They're vampires with a Y. It's a whole. <sighs> Don't ask. Wasn't gonna. So, is a way to Beat them before they eat you? Bet you can't guess how many times I've heard that. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. You need them. Technically, aren't these things his cousins? No relation. Word of advice never suggest Blade is like other vampires. Oh, we met. He did not appreciate my humor. Possibly match your strength. They cannot possibly match your strength. Heard you got an annoying problem down there, and also vampires. Blade! I was just saying we could use the help of an actual victim. I'll bet. Shouldn't be any bloodsuckers left in that part of the city. They appear to be some sort of man bats of both the white and blue sub variants. The dorsal striping indicates they are new breed vampires. Immature and fully developed. I don't like that at all. Thanks for calling, Blade. Super helpful. Just what I needed. Attempt. Your loyalty to the mother of demons will be what you do.
vampires off our emergency preparedness list. for the rest of us. They cannot possibly match your strength. When you need him. Technically, aren't these things his cousins? No relation, as far as I know. Word of advice never suggest Blade is like other vampires. Oh, he said he did not appreciate my humor. when Lilith had the highest of standards in the universe. That time has clearly passed. With extreme... I am impressed. you got an annoying problem down there, and also vampires. Blade! I was just saying we could use the help of an actual executive. Shouldn't be any bloodsuckers left in that part of the city. They appear to be some sort of man bats. <laughs> white and blue sub-variants. The dorsal striping indicates they are new vampires, both immature and fully developed. I don't like that at all. Thanks for calling me. Super helpful. Oh, oh, I saw this in a movie once. <laughs>
should have asked for more money. Or maybe some actual money instead of all that too. We can worry about Sin and the statue later. Focus on getting out of there alive. Oh, so it's me. Come around. I have that effect. You do have that effect on people. Back into the fray. Walk in the light. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Try to take out the weaker ones before they can feed. Maybe you already figured that out by now. Oh, I get it. We're taking too long. Very subtle, Blade. Your mother abandons you. Vampires are a problem. At least we know how to handle them. Without that statue, not even a sparkly hole can cheer me up. Is this about your very scary client again? When he finds out how royally I botched this mission, or worse, when he finds me, I'll be... <laughs> Deader pool? There it is. You go, new guy. And by that, I still obviously mean the new fully customizable... Come back with us to the Abbey. No. The magical wards will protect you. No. Hell no. You can hide there. Help us track down Sin. No! fight off the vampire infestation. If you insist. Look, Ma, I'm gonna be DLC. some time to thanks hunter you're literally a lifesaver i'll just lie low until my job is done does your job always require you to steal art that's what the client wants sure most of the time it's making people sleep forever the forbidden nap if you will mercenary work is a grab bag of awful stuff and it rules That kind of work sounds less than ideal. Why? Because I unalive people on a contractual basis and you do it for the good of humanity? The only difference between us is that I get paid. I got a lollipop as a tip once. That was sweet. I take no joy in it. Probably because no one's making it rain on you. Real game changer, I'm telling you. I did not know stealing a statue would get so... Exciting? Neither did I. That's part of the fun. Can you tell me more about the statue? Do I look like some sort of artsy-fartsy hipster to you? 
I'm wondering why it was important to you. Because looking at it made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You and Sin were both after the statue, so it must be valuable. It's valuable to my client, and that's enough for me. Your mystery client, who you will not tell me about? Not unless I want to be on the receiving end of his punishment. Normally, I'd be into that, but he's too scary. Scary how? So scary that I took a magical portal to a stranger's house in order to stay away from him. You are welcome to stay at the Abbey for as long as you need. I'm going to leave a Deadpool-sized impression on the couch. That's where I'm headed, unless you still want my attention. I have questions, if you do not mind. Sounds like somebody hasn't looked me up on the Internet. Shoot. How come I have never seen you without the mask? It's physically glued to my face. If I try and remove it, my skin peels off like gum stuck on the bottom of a shoe. That sounds unpleasant. Eh, the mask helps hide what's going on under here. It ain't pretty, and I don't want to make people barf just by looking at me. That's not as fun. Or I can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. You pick whichever one sounds better. I find it hard to believe you are ugly. Hey, now, I never called myself ugly. This is to protect the softies who can't handle what peak male hotness looks like. What is your special ability? I have not seen it yet. Just because I can't shoot lasers or pick up and yeet a bus doesn't mean my power is invisible. Wait, unless I can turn invisible now. Hold on, let me try. Nope. Still only got my super regeneration. Regeneration? You are able to heal quickly? My healing factor can basically bring me back from anything. No hand, no body, no prob. My cells are always regenerating. That is incredible. Makes the life of Merc a lot easier when you literally can't die. <laughs> Sounds good on a business card, too. Can you tell me more about your katanas? Oh, the girls? I'm so glad you asked. They never get any attention. Guns are so impersonal. I like using the old hack and slash approach with these puppies. I also use swords. Using them takes much skill and strength. I might not look at Hunter, but I'm a skilled as hell swordsman. We should dance sometime. With our swords or with each other? Both. Can you tell me why you are called the Merc with a Mouth? My mouth is special, Hunter. I say all kinds of words with it. That's kind of my shtick. I do not understand. We all have mouths. What does it mean? It means I talk a lot. Hence, Merc with a Mouth. I crack jokes and break the fourth wall so much that I may as well be the Kool-Aid Man. Who were you before becoming Deadpool? <gasps> I was just a normal dude, except I had terminal cancer. Then I went through an experiment that was supposed to cure me, but surprise, it didn't. Instead of dying, I got the diagnosis of living forever because of a big oopsie done by bad people who turned Wade Wilson into this guy. Wait, Wade Wilson? Oops, that's me. Well, before all that crap. It sounds like you have dealt with a lot, Wade. Uh, don't even think about it. I have a badass superhero name for a reason. Before we came to the Abbey, you said you were going to be DLC. What does that mean? Deadpool living comfortably. What? What, what? I misspoke. Talk later, Deadpool. Stringing me along? How cruel. I don't know. A little chaos around here could be fun. <laughs> Just trying to see the bright side.
Deadpool's not as awful as everyone thinks he is. We have some history. So, the team encountered some new breed vampires up close. Your thoughts? As Nico says, I am not a fan. Right there with you. Sin's involvement concerns me. Same. I'm still not clear on why some Hydra forces left with her, and others served as vampire food. Agreed. Hydra is involved with the vampires. It is not yet clear how. Uh, don't worry. I'm gathering all the intel you'll need. Soon enough, we'll kick the new breed back into whatever hell they crawled out of. Anything else on your mind? What can you tell me about this new breed? Well, from a spotty centuries-old reference and the data we've collected, new breed vampires are basically fangs, claws, and a bottomless stomach. They live to feed. But they don't drink blood. They eat people whole. Can they turn humans into vampires? Well, they create new hemolisks from whatever they can't digest. Strain suggested some kind of dark magic regurgitation. The boundaries of dark magic are ever-expanding. And gross. I won't mind if they shrink a little. How do classic vampires differ from new breed vampires? These Zoomer vampires are more outgoing. They hunt in packs and don't seem to care if anyone notices them. They have similar weaknesses, sunlight still kills them. But not everything lines up. No need to invite them in, they're happy to smash through the door. Oh, and while they don't turn people into vampires, they can infect classic vampires who then serve as portable hemolisks for the new breed. What do we know about Sin? Apparently, she's a vampire. A vamp classic, not the new breed. That was news to me. Before that, S.H.I.E.L.D. knew her as a decently competent Hydra luminary. Sin always got a ton of leeway because she's Red Skull's grandkid. Red Skull? The yin to Steve's yang. Founded Hydra, fought on the wrong side of World War II, and had a nasty itch for world domination. Do you think Sin could be working for my mother? She and Faustus used to fight like a sack of rats. Whatever her game is, Hydra as a whole doesn't seem to be a part of it. Thanks, Carol. See ya. Anything else on your mind? Thanks, Carol. See ya. Ugh. If you need me, I'll be hiding out in my room. So, Deadpool's sticking around. Robbie. Can we speak in private? Of course. Let's go. Nico needs help prepping for Magic's surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for Magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. <laughs> 